Hi folks, this is Sean McCormack and in this video we're going to look at one of the more decorative features of Lightroom which are the panel end marks. The panel end marks appear at the bottom of the left and right panel they're just decorations basically to indicate that there's no more control in the actual panels themselves. Uh, I have the tattoo selected here by default but there are numerous others. Uh, the flourish is the one that it will ship with but there's lots of other options as well such as like the floor uh, the box, things like the atom, for example, and a couple of ornaments, you know, just different ornamental ends. Um, if you're into design, you might want to put something in yourself, or if you're thinking about it a little bit more along the lines of branding, you're able to put your own in. And where this normally lives is, you right click, you can say go to panel end marks folder, double click on the folder that's open, anything that's in this can be used basically. Uh, now I have an additional folder open here which is where I generally keep stuff that I use for saving web and devices in Photoshop so I'm just going to have that for a handy swap over in a few minutes. So what I need to do is jump over to Photoshop where I have a PNG of my own logo. Normally this is used against grey or black backgrounds and you'll actually see it better. There's two parts, there's this kind of orange and white bit that says SMCC with a little camera under it and then it has Sean McCormick Photography and then SeanMcFollow.com underneath. Uh, we don't need to see that to, because I'm actually just going to crop a tiny bit of it to use for this. So I'm just going to crop down to the orange and white bit and then I go save for web and devices. As you can see the original size is actually quite large so I need to use bicubic sharper and jump down a bit say 150 for example and I just click tab to go to the next one to apply it we can see that it's made it quite small now I'm saving this as a PNG 24 with transparency so the best possible quality uh, PNG file that I can have the transparency means that it's just going to sit nicely on top of the grey we'll see that when I actually bring it in so I click save that's going to come back to the previously used folder which is LRB doc which is the one you saw that I had open already so I'm going to go PEM just for panel end mark click save now I'm going to command tab or I think it's all tab on a PC or control tab and go back to finder and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy this new one across into the panel end marks folder and go jump back to Lightroom and I'm going to right click again on that to bring up the panel panel end marks and you can see that between the last original one and the panel end marks folder we now have the file name we just copied across so it happens automatically without having to do anything in Lightroom so we click on that and we can see that the logo now appears in the panel end marks. Now I could decide that this is actually probably a little bit too big and go back and make a smaller version if I wanted as well. But that's just to show you how you can make your own panel end mark for Lightroom. Uh, 